Hi, and thank you for tuning in today. My name is Corinne, also known as Lady Lovely Locks, and I'm going to review this piece that I bought last year during the pandemic. Oh, I want to say I bought her in like April, and I had her shipped while I was like gone and um, out of state, and she was a nice surprise when I came back. And I I didn't wear her for the longest time. I think just because she was a darker red and it was my first Milano wig. And if you've never looked at Milano wigs, when they come to you, they all, at least all the ones I've seen, have these big combs in them. So when I would put it on my head, these combs to like, you know, the idea they can clip it into your hair here and here at the nape. But I don't have any hair for that. Like these clips were giant and so I don't know if they're for people with like really thick hair I don't know but I didn't like it at first because it felt so thick and heavy on my head so I was just kind of like turned away and I was like mm, I don't know and plus I think I had looked at you know when I was new to Milano wigs I had looked at like a lighter auburn more strawberry blonde and I think in my head I was getting that so when I saw this was a lot darker and I was like kind of turned off but you know, sometimes that happens when we're looking at a wig, we, at first we don't like it. And then sometimes you just, sometimes you might know, absolutely, I'm not wearing this. But sometimes, you know, if you just run out of time to like resell it right away or relist it, you have time to like just ruminate on it and think about if you really want to keep it, if you think it's going to work. So this is one of those pieces. I am so very glad I did. What I did love immediately was that you can easily put this into a ponytail this is one of their ponytail wigs so um they have different inches milano has a ton of wigs and i have there's several more that i i want to get because i want lots of wigs <laughs> but um this is human hair uh i can't remember if it's remy i want to say their ponytail wigs aren't but it has definitely handled like rummy human hair. This hair has just been fantastic. It's been worn a lot. I can wear this at work all day. I'll, I'll wear it down as much as I can, but you know, I'm a nurse, so I can't, I do not like leaving my hair down when I'm working because you never know when someone's gonna poop or vomit on you or spit on you or when you're leaning over doing your assessments and you get stuck on something nasty or in the psych hospital, people like to try and pull your hair and I've had that happen. So, um, I put her back a lot, but she, I've been able to wear this piece down and she hasn't tangled. I've washed her a couple of times. She's due for another one, but she just, I really like the quality of this hair. Um, but it's just, this is like a, this is an auburn. There's no rooting. It's just a beautiful auburn. Um, and it's made of a textile dye. I tried to add, I had my professionals try and add, um, like a highlight to it and they weren't able to because it was a textile. So just remember that if you have a wig and you and it's made of textile dye, you're not gonna be able to play with the color as much. Um, but anyways, so let's look at this piece. So this, that's oh, my sideburn. This is the lace. That's my, um, kind of just plopped it on. But the lace front, like I don't ever, I rarely pull my hair back like this anyways, but I was definitely able to, and I don't have a grip to hold it back, but this can definitely be pulled back, especially if you have your own hair, even just like a little bit, you can pull this into like a ponytail and it looks really good. And, uh, yeah, so, um, and the lace front, I want to be able to get it. I think there's some hair that's loose right there. That's my hair. It's really hard, but it's got a silk top. You guys look at that silk top. Let me take this off so you can look at it. So this is like a Swiss lace. As you can see, it's got the zigzag cut to it. Um, hasn't frayed or done anything whatsoever. Um, this is what the cap looks like. So the combs were sewn in 
like up here on the ear tabs. If you have combs on the ear tabs, it's gonna make your wig feel really bulky and it feels really awkward. I think that's why a lot of people sell these kinds of wigs. Um, but yeah, it's got that silk top and then this is not hand tied, but it's closed wefted, which I think can help with um, tangles, especially when it's closed wefted at the nape got the bra strap adjusters. This fits my head perfectly. I'm a petite head and it fits perfectly. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the scalp. Looks just like scalp. This, when you get a silk top, you get high quality. Um, this is what the ear tabs look like. Um, I can wear her all day at work and she's just very, comfortable um at some point i'm sure you know after a couple more washes i'm gonna need to start going through and clipping those return hairs but um honestly it looks good now i don't see like the return hairs on this wig don't look that bad um but look at this how like, you see how I can have it up like that? Like, nobody thinks this is a wig. When I wore this on my job, like, I had changed my hair up a little bit and people noticed. So I was like, this is a wig. And they're like, are you serious? Like, they they did not. And this is sexy hair. Like, I mean, look at this, you guys. Like, I feel super, super hot in this. Um, People like this hair. Guys like this hair. Uh, they're attracted to it. It makes you look so... People say the wigs are vanity, but here's my take on this. Since I've been wearing wigs, my confidence has shot through the roof. It has opened up a lot of doors for me because I was confident in who I am to take those steps. And, and people see that and people are attracted to that. And whether you're looking to date someone or just meet people or get a new job, people are attracted to confidence. And if you feel good about yourself, you're gonna be confident. And with, I wear this hair, I just like, I just have good days in this hair. People like how I look in this hair. And I just like, just like guys when they have beards, they will say that, at least the ones I've talked to, that they get way more respect when they have a beard. It's just something, it's just something, it's hard to explain, but it's just, you know, and people say it's shallow and superficial, but it's just, it's just how it is, you know, like if you, like if you're talking to someone who looks really fit versus someone who looks very unfit, you just, that person who looks very fit looks disciplined and like they know what they're doing, like they push themselves, they have drive, um, you know, it's just, that's just how it is. We just make these, you know, preconceptions about things, but it works. People see this in me and I feel confident and they like my confidence and it attracts people. And, um, you know, sometimes girls hate you too because your hair looks good. But that's why I try and tell them it's a wig. So they don't think like I'm like this amazing person. Because I have a really outgoing personality. And, um, you know, sometimes you can be like really ugly and unattractive looking. And people are like, oh, well, that's okay. They do what they got to do. But if you look good and you have an outgoing personality that people are drawn to, then girls especially hate you. And I've experienced it. Um, even before I started wearing wigs, before I started losing all my hair, it was like this young tan blonde and it pissed certain girls off. I couldn't even breathe without making them mad, especially when I was in basic training. So, you know, it's just your looks are everything. And so you get the right wig that makes you feel good and confident, then you're going to shine and you're going to be more successful. That's my take on it. Take it for what it's worth. But um, anyways, this is this piece. Just wanted to show her off. And you see how like the lace goes all the way to the ear tab. So you can like that just, it doesn't look stark like in a lot of synthetic wigs. You could tailor that some more if you wanted. Um, but like up close, like it just, it looks pretty darn good. There are people that have these flat across hairlines. I will say that. But you know, I mean, you can add some of these little baby hairs in. And like, look how natural that looks you guys. You can pull your hair back like this and it just looks so like fairy princess you know so here she is this is i'll have to look up the color i apologize for not giving the exact one um they have so many different options and it's not like 
a lot of the other regular wigs that have certain names to them. So I'll have to look this up. But there's the ponytail wig, and this is just their auburn. It's not a strawberry blonde, but it's their auburn color. So as you can tell, it's a lot darker. I like this for my winter hair. I'm all about matching my hair to the seasons. But yeah, I love her. She needs a washing. Um, for sure. I can feel again like a little grimy. But look at this. I just love her. She's great. So, um, anyways, I, I'm so happy I got her. I totally recommend you getting a Milano wig. And I think they even have like payment plans. So if you can do it, do it. Because these wigs are fantastic. I mean, look at that scalp, you guys. Like, nobody thinks this is a wig. You know, I mean, it's got that lace front little area right there. People see that and then the lace front is fantastic and nobody questions it. You get what you paid for. You, When it comes to nice wigs, you get what you paid for. As long as you take good care of them. And if you're, you think you're gonna ruin them, just take them to the wig professionals. I think I paid like $30 to get this washed. You know, and then they, they blow dry and style and everything. It looks fantastic. So anyways, thank you for watching this piece. I'm so glad I finally did this review. I love her. Um, I have, I don't have enough things to say about her. Um, fits great on my small head. You can pick if you want a small, medium, I think a large. You might have to pay more depending on what you want. But, um, yeah, I, I highly recommend them. I can't wait to get more. <laughs> I just need to make more money. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching you guys and have a good day.